What's up, gang? This is going to be a mellow video. Um, I'm back on the uh, turbo video slot. I was not able to fix the monitor. I uh, could not find that uh, flyback. It was a Hanter X model from Spain, and other people had trouble finding it too. So we're going to move on, and we're just going to convert it over to LCD. And I have a pretty good uh, size monitor to fit in here. If I... Um, Causing myself to go out of focus. Damn it. Anyway, you can see there's a lot of crud in here. It was behind the control panel. I've got most of this door stripped down now. Get the wiring all out. Uh, I have rebuilt this power supply. I've done some board work up here and some minor wiring. Um, and I think right here, maybe I'm going to hang the... Uh, uh, what do you call it cga to vga conversion board and i'm hoping that somehow i can use these little screws here or these bolts to somehow mount this monitor in here but uh stick around and we will take care of this uh tomorrow i will announce the winner of last month's giveaway and i also want to say uh thanks to youtube punk for becoming a five dollar page five dollar patron on patreon uh it's greatly appreciated uh you know all that all that little bit of money that i get it, it really does help towards giveaways and you know all the little trips we do and and uh parts and stuff too um but stick around we're gonna not only fix this game we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup and, and uh refurb as steve from steve's arcade would say all right, stick around. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Mo's Arcade. And you know how long it's been I can stay playing black and gold? I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked. Got the mallet in my grasp. Waiting for the moles. Ha! Hiding in their holes. Score, we're keeping tally. I'll be playing till they close now. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster. You can ask my baby, it starts slow, then gets faster. I'm a record setter. My... This may be hard to see, so I cleaned the left side. Oh, here you can see where this rust is at. It's a good spot to look. And I polished the glass on the left side with plastic polish. You can kind of see. Still some major swirl marks. But uh, it looks a whole lot better. It's just hard to tell in this lighting. You can really tell around this, this stuff here. There's still a little bit of pitting and rust here that I haven't got. And luckily, this whole square piece here comes off. Which is where I'm going to mount the monitor. And so I can get up underneath here and get all this rust off. I did this with just uh, Windex and steel wool. Just like I usually do on chrome. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> end up running some chrome polish over it. when I Right before I hand it back to the customer. And we have like these that went over. And this is kind of trashed. I'm going to see what I can do about it. I don't know may lose this gold flake and it just be black and hopefully i can save that logo i don't know much about this game or this company uh, i do know it's french canadian you can see there and um it was uh it's game tech game tech international or game tech canada not international game technologies igt which is who you would normally think would be slots this uh as far as i could tell i only found like uh one picture of this game uh at all on a i think it was a canadian slot machine forum and it was one guy who was working on one and i could not find any mention of this thing anywhere else so if you guys know anything about it feel free to let me know in the comments um the only thing I do know is that this company, uh, Game Tech Canada, I don't know why I can't remember that. Oops. That was great. Game Tech Canada or Game Tech International. Um, the only thing I do know about it is that they were 
making games that were going on to the reservation casinos. So maybe that is why they're a little bit more rare. I'm not seeing as many of them. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of show if it was even possible to show the the uh, progress from one side to the other. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue cleaning. And like I said, I'm going to take this off. I also need to do the back. It's a... Uh, I've kind of wiped it down. You can see where it's kind of streaky, but it was really brown. I don't know if it's nicotine or or what it is. Is that kind of cleaned here, and you can see the brown again up in here. But like I said, these uh these pop off. I'm gonna clean everything, polish that glass or plastic, whatever it is. And if you look, there's kind of a groove there, and so I think it'll. I'll have enough room for my monitor, which I had, I thought, sitting out to show you guys. Uh, pull it out in the next clip. <clears throat> Basically, it's going gonna, it's gonna to leave a little bit of gap at the top and the bottom and barely any at the side. So it's going to fit pretty good. So let's go ahead and finish cleaning this up. And then, uh, like I said, I'll pull that off and then we'll see about mounting it in here. I think it's going to be the toughest part. It got laid on me pretty fast, so I need to kind of come up with a plan on how I'm going to mount this monitor in here. And I think I have a way to go. So I cut a piece of, of foam board out to fit in here. And then I, I put tape around it to make it easier to get in and out of here because I'm probably going to try this a bunch of times. And uh, also because it's white on the edges. Let's see if you can see that. So it kind of sticks out really bad. So this is going to be my bezel. Sorry about the focus. And I kind of put the monitor in here. I kind of figured out everything. There's like a little bit of like weather stripping kind of stuff in there. That I need to smash out of the way and get this in here. Okay, so whenever that gets in there. I also have an idea for bezel art that I'm going to put down first. Then I'm going to put this over it. I'm going to cut this out, which is <clears throat> the size of the monitor, which will go inside that hole there. And then that's not exactly how it'll fit, but that'll go inside the hole there. We'll have the art underneath and then I think I should be able to go one piece. I might have to put another little piece of, of foam board or something behind this and cut a piece in a, uh, in a piece of sheet metal and I should be able to put it all the way across all four of those and hold it in there. And then I can run this to the, the boards and stuff for that little monitor. I also have like a bunch of like different sizes of these little L brackets and stuff I can use, but I think that's a good plan to start with, and I'm hoping that the uh, bezel art idea turns out okay, but that's where I'm going to stop for tonight, but it's not the end of the video. I am going to take a nap and then get back up and start on this first thing in the morning, so just give me a few. I want to go over where I'm at with this bezel. Um... My original plan was to use this, like, uh, it's basically a piece of felt that I cut up that was for a, you know, like a poker game or something, a little cheap thing at the dollar store. But anyway, this has red tinted glass, so it, it didn't look right. What I ended up doing is I just put a piece of black uh, poster board down, basically cut it out in a picture frame, uh, measured for my monitor. And then this piece is just a black piece of foam board. And then I wrapped it in electrical tape because it's actually white on the inside. And that actually um, gives it a little bit of room for this LCD to push in and fit firmly. And then I taped up the outside. So this is all in there fairly permanently. And what I need to do next is just make sure I keep this clean. This is going to be the final time. I'm getting in here for this and take my monitor here and peel this off I probably shouldn't be doing this one-handed but I can't find the tripod 
All right. I don't. I found a tripod. I broke the clip that holds my phone. Is the problem? Okay. So one-handed and all goofy like. Put this in here. And it fits pretty snug. I don't know if I want it in there that like that snug. But that gives you the, kind of the idea. I'm going to fix that a little bit better. And then above that, this comes out, of course, for the one of the boards. I had to make a piece of sheet metal. Oh, so this like came out of a dead Xbox, and I beat it with a, a rubber mallet to fit and then drilled holes. And then I made this little... Uh, I cut this hole in it, and then I had these like plastic rubber grommet things from Harbor Freight. And I put in, oh, I put that plastic over it. It's kind of productive. So I put these little grommets in it and then put black tape around it just to keep it from cutting that thing over there. It just it kind of looks inappropriate. So that's going to go above that. And uh, I'm going to put that down. Oh, actually, I'm going to put some kind of foam in here too and cut it to fit so that this is flush here. I don't want any room for anything to move around inside of there. And then I'll put this down. <laughs> and then on the back of that, I'm going to put this piece probably like so. Or like this. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to mount that yet. And I have some really, really strong uh, uh, 3M tape I'm going to use for that little control board there. And then this will run to my uh, CGA to VGA converter and then to the board. And hopefully that'll get it going. So I'm going to finish this up and then put the uh, coin door back together. Uh, I gave up on trying to get all this nicotine out of here. It's just taken so long. Nobody's going to see this. I It's clean, but it's still dirty. So hopefully it doesn't smell as bad. I think they're smokers, so I'm not really worried about that part. But normally, uh, normally I wouldn't leave this much nicotine in here. But anyway, I'm going to put that back together. And then the next problem I have with this is the power supply. The magic smoke came out of it last night. I was just making sure the game worked before I put it all back together and started filming. And it smoked the power supply. And I have some questions on the original wiring. Well, I wouldn't say original. It's uh, They wired in a new power supply, and I don't know if they did that right. So I'm going to wire my own, and we'll see if we can get the game come up. The original time the power supply was bad, it was really, really high voltage, so I'm I'm not sure that the board works. Uh, we'll hope so. Otherwise, maybe we can find another one. All right, this will either be the end of this. I have to jump onto monitors since this is taking so long. So... I'm going to film the monitors and hopefully come back to this tonight, but it just depends on how long it takes before I get this thing up. I'll see you either in a minute or I'll see you on the next one. All right, real quick before I uh, end this video, um, like I was saying, I, I was having problems with the game board, and so I just wanted to hook this up so that I can see that it works or not. i got some reflection going on here. Um, so... Basically, the monitor is hooked up through like a little ribbon cable. It goes to this, which is uh, your inputs. It's got HDMI and uh, VGA and spot for CGA. And then it's got a little cord that runs here to like your control board with your different controls. And it's got the uh, light for or the sensor for the remote. And then I got VGA hooked up. Sorry, I got my Kleenex box there holding it up. And then power run, and that, that power's run through USB, which I'm going to rewire that before it's in the game. But let's just take a look and see. I tried to hook a DVD player up to this, and what else did I... All kinds of stuff. And I can't get anything to hook up to it except for a game. And I can't get a game to work on it. I just tried to hook up a Pandora's box, but it said not supported, and I'm not going to... Not going to fool with it any longer. Let me see if I can. Okay, so at least I can flip through the menu. So we know it, it works. We can get kind of an idea of what the monitor looks like and what size. And it looks pretty good. It's in there about as good as I can get it. And as you can tell, the chrome is nice and polished. Um, 
it is shining and giving an awful reflection. But we know it's working, and so the next step is it's just to get the game working inside of the cabinet. And I can go ahead and uh, put this all back together, and then we'll move on to the next step. I uh, rebuilt the power supply. It crapped out, so... Let's see, oh, I don't have it over here anymore. It's put up. Um, so uh, I'm just going to put a new power supply in and go from there. And hopefully, like I was telling you before, the you know the board took a huge spike in voltage, but I'm getting some signs out of it that I think maybe it's working. So let's hopefully, fingers crossed, in the next video we should be able to get this going and get it back to the customer finally. All right, stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we do over here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Huh? Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. Super and if hang I gotta get what I want! <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.